Hello, everybody. It's Yongxin Hu. Welcome back to Hu's Kitchen. This video gonna be really special because the next Tuesday, which is the twenty first of September, twenty twenty one, we are going to have the Mid Autumn Festival, aka Mooncake Festival. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all how to make the fantastic, delicious. Gorgeous mooncakes! Ooh, look at them! Gorgeous! So pretty! Let's pick one up and show you. They are extremely delicious as well. Let's not waste more time. I'm going to show you all how to make them straight away. First of all, we are going to make the pastry part. Which is the skin of the mooncake. So you will need seventy grams of golden syrup. Then we are going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon vanilla extract. Then we are going to add in. Three quarters of a teaspoon alkaline water or lime water. So the one I got is this one here. Then we are going to give everything a quick mix. Next, we are going to add in. Twenty-five milliliters of vegetable oil or olive oil. Last but not least, we are going to add in some plain flour. So here I got one hundred grams of plain flour. Once everything is well combined, we are going to cover the bowl with some clean film and leave it on the side for at least three hours. So while we are waiting for the pastry, so I'm going to quickly show you the filling options. So today I'm going to use three different fillings. So the first one will be the traditional lotus paste. So basically, the one I got is the、um, pre-made one. Actually, I bought it from the Chinese supermarket. So it looks like this, and the consistency.、Um, I can show you actually. It looks like a sticky paste. It smells so good. Honestly, I can just eat a whole pack myself. That's the first option, the lotus paste. The second option.、Um, It's a pre-made one as well. So I bought this one as well from a Chinese supermarket. So it's a chestnut paste. The consistency、um, is slightly more sticky and watery compared with the lotus paste, but it tastes really good as well. That's going to be the second option. So the third option, which I normally make it myself because it tastes the best. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to make my personal most favorite filling, the coconut flavor. So for the coconut filling, I got 35 grams of unsalted butter in my glass bowl here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna pop my glass bowl in the microwave for about a minute or until your butter is completely melted. I'm gonna be back in a sec. Once the butter has melted, we are going to add in seventy-five grams of desiccated coconut. Thirty-five grams of icing sugar. Twenty-five grams of powdered milk or milk powder.
and an egg. Then we are going to mix everything together. Once everything is well combined, I'm going to leave this glass bowl in the fridge for at least 30 minutes, half of an hour. And yeah, we'll be back in a sec. I have preheated my oven to 160 degrees with fun or 180 degrees without. So my dough is ready now. I'm going to dust a little bit of plain flour on the dough. And also I'm gonna put some plain flour on my bunch as well. So I'm going to quickly get the dough out. Then I'm going to separate my dough to 15 grams each. And I'm going to quickly do that now. As you can see, I got some greaseproof paper here and I have put all of the pastry balls on it. Now we are going to make all of our fillings in the balls as well. However, the size of the ball for the fillings is going to be slightly bigger. So we are going to roll them into 35 grams each. I'm going to quickly do that. As you can see here, I got my pastry ready, my fillings ready. Now I'm going to show you how to put them together. So I just put some extra plain flour on my working bunch and also on my hands. So we are going to grab one small ball, which is the pastry or the mooncake skin. We are going to roll it in the flour for a tiny bit to make sure it's not sticking our hands. Then we are going to quickly shape it to a disc. Like that and then for example I will use the lotus filling as example I'm gonna put the lotus filling in my pastry and then we are going to use our hand to push it up while push the filling inside the same time like that So in the end, we are going to close the circle to smaller and smaller while push in again. And at the end, when there isn't much fillings left, we are just going to basically seal it and then roll it into a ball. Yeah, so that's one of the mooncake sort of done. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to shape them. So we bought this amazing mooncake maker or modeling things from Amazon last year. I'll probably say the quality is really good and they are not that expensive either. So if you want to find the same one from Amazon, I'll pop a link down below. You can check it out. Then I'm going to grab one of my mooncake modeling thing and put some flour in. Let's give it a moving around and then get the rest out. In this way, our modeling will cover the with flour. When we put the mooncake in, it won't stick in the modeling at all. Then I'm going to pop one of the mooncake I just made into the modeling. And then I'm going to face it downwards and just push. Make sure you don't push this too hard. And then release. So when getting it out, it's already shaping in a beautiful mooncake. So the first one I made is like a rose shape. And on the side, I got my baking tray with my grease proof paper on top of it already. 
So the mooncake we just made, I'm gonna pop it on top of it. Carefully. Yeah, that's one more can done. So the pastry recipe I give to you guys, you can make about 13 mooncakes. So now I'm gonna quickly make the rest of my mooncake. After a few minutes, all of my mooncakes are done now and they are ready to go. Before I put my mooncakes in the oven, I'm gonna use some water spray on top of them. So this step, going to prevent them from crackling. Now my mooncakes are ready to go. I'm going to quickly put my mooncakes in the oven now. I will see you in 10 minutes. It has been 10 minutes. I just got my mooncakes out. So we are going to leave them to cool for about 25-30 minutes before we put, put them back in. The reason behind it is because we are trying to prevent the filling explode. So we are going to leave them on the side queue for at least 25 minutes. We'll be back in a sec. It has been 25 minutes and my mooncakes are slightly cool now. Before we put them back in the oven, I'm gonna quickly use some egg wash to brush on top of them. So the egg wash we are going to use today, not just an egg, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of water as well. And then I'm just going to combine the water and the egg together. Then I'm going to use the egg wash to brush all of my mooncakes. So now I'm going to put my mooncake back in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. We'll be back once they are done. My timer just gone off. I'm going to take my mooncakes out of the oven now. They look absolutely amazing. So my mooncakes are done now. However, I can't really eat any of them yet because for mooncake, after you just cook it, the pastry is really crispy and that's not how mooncake normally like at all. So we usually leave the mooncake in an airtight container for at least 24 hours to soften them up. That's why I made some last night. So today I can show you all what the inside of mooncake actually looks like. So from the start of this video or from my thumbnail, you probably can see this gorgeous mooncake. So if I put them side by side, you can probably see it better. So compare the one I made last night, as you can see, these ones on my plate are not as dark because if we leave them in the airtight container for 24 hours, the oil part, whatever in the mooncake, from the filling and the pastry, is going to soak through all the pastry skin and afterwards they're going to be softer and the colour going to be lighter as well. So we are going to leave the fresh made mooncake on the side for now. Unfortunately, I can't eat them and I'm not allowed to eat them yet. I'm going to grab one of each flavour and I'm going to cut them for you and show you what they look like inside. So I just cut like one of each to open and show you guys. So the first one here we got is the lotus filling and this one is the chestnut and this one is a gorgeous, my own recipe, the coconut. So now I'm going to try probably one bite of each just to taste if it tastes delicious. I already know they are delicious. Right, I'm gonna start with the lotus. So inside it looks really nice and shiny as well. Mmm! So 
so good. The lotus one is so good. It's literally triggered all of my amazing sweet memory when I'm back home and when I was younger. Because traditionally, we have the lotus and salted duck yolk flavor. However, my other half doesn't like salted duck yolk. That's why we didn't put any in for this specific recipe at all. The second one I'm gonna try will be the chestnut. So it's slightly softer and the color is similar to the pastry if I'm being honest. Let's give it a try now. Mmm! It's so good as well, oh my god. It's so delicious. Mm. The third one I'm gonna try will be the coconut. Honestly, my mouth is watery now. Let me try it for you. Mmm. So nice. Definitely my personal most favorite. For sure. Honestly, they're all so delicious. As you can see from my chopping board, I'm probably a little bit carried away because there's only this much left. Only because they are extremely delicious. Oh my god. They are the best mooncakes ever. Right. That's the end of this video of this week. So, for this week's video, once again, we are celebrating the Zhongqiu Jie, aka Mid Autumn Festival. So here, I'm gonna wish everybody have a great time on this festival. 在这里,祝大家中秋节快乐! Don't forget, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If you want to know what's going on next week or in the future, Tap the bell. I will see you all next week. Bye!